What is short run decision making? Well, generally, decision making by its very nature is uh, choosing the best alternative under the needs or circumstances. Well, short run decision making means choosing the best alternative under the immediate needs or circumstances based upon uh, the effect that it will have in a finite or shorter time period. Okay, now the process for decision making, uh, whether short term or long term, generally includes identifying the objective or goal, identifying the alternative courses of actions that would give you the intended or uh, desired result. Okay, you perform an analysis of those potential solutions, you pick the best one, and then you review, analyze, and you know, uh, evaluate the results to make certain in case you need to change or make uh, adjustments to that decision in the future. Now, the difference between long run and short run decision making focuses on uh, steps three and four, particularly on step three. Okay, so the portion of performing an analysis of potential solutions. So in a company, you may look at the effect of that decision based on uh, revenues, costs, benefits, whatever, you name it. Okay but you're performing a differential analysis between the effects of various options okay the difference is that you do it in the short run you look at the effects of the decision that happen within a finite period of time generally uh, in terms of short-term decision making for accounting purposes you're looking at under 12 months within the company okay but based upon the situation or scenario it could be a shorter period of time all right now you're trying to focus upon relevant costs that is uh, costs that if you make the decision uh, it is going it, it is the cost that is affected or the outcome of the decision is going to be affected solely by that decision meaning that if you make a different decision it will most certainly affect that cost it is the opposite of a sunk cost whereby you make a decision based upon uh, past uh, expenses or past costs that will not change based upon your decision okay so it's always forward looking okay uh, avoidable costs versus unavoidable costs uh, an avoidable cost is one where your decision will have potentially avoid the occurrence of that unavoidable rates relates back to a sunk cost for example whereby your uh, decision is not going to have an effect on it sunk costs are going backwards an unavoidable uh, present cost or future cost is one where your decision is not going to affect it so again it's not a relevant cost for purposes of decision making okay and then you have to look at opportunity costs what are you foregoing in the short term during that finite period of time that um, and the value of it uh, in order to make a certain decision okay so if you're foregoing certain opportunities to take one road you have to calculate the benefits of that other decision that you forewent in the decision making process okay and generally that's it right that's how you perform this differential analysis and uh, evaluate the potential options then you pick the best one for your situation or scenario and again the difference here in short run decision making is uh, you're looking at this finite period of time again if we're talking in terms of accounting within this year and what the effect will be within this year or this financial accounting period okay so that's it that's the crux of short run decision making and why it's important to understand the uniqueness of it as part of the decision making process between short run and long term decisions.